Hi, good afternoon and welcome to our much-awaited IELTS live session. Well, it is indeed a beautiful day. In Kerala, we have uh, the rains cleared off a bit because the last couple of days it was raining quite heavily. So I would say yes, it's a beautiful day out uh, today. It isn't very sunny or isn't it very hot and not very cold or wet. So it's somewhere in between and it is awesome. I hope that you are all enjoying the, uh, the kind of climate that you have around you, wherever you're watching from. And today's live session, IELTS live session, is on IELTS reading. A lot of students have reading a major problem, especially certain question types. And so here in this one hour session that we have today, I'm going to try and sort out some of those problems for you. So to begin with, I'd like to know where you're all watching from. So do send me a hi and also let me know which part of the world you're right now watching our live session from. Now, it's interesting to note that quite a few of our viewers, um, you know, uh, watch our live sessions once it's over and we've posted the live video. We can see that a lot of people interact with our, you know, those video sessions that we post. Now, for those who watch it later on, I would say it's always better if you can try and come and watch us from one o'clock to two because that is live and you get an opportunity uh, to get any of your questions and queries clarified. So that is the biggest advantage if you are joining us live from one o'clock to two o'clock. Um, this is a Thursday, but we have our IELTS live session every Wednesdays. So just stay tuned on to our Facebook page and you can see us live. So I'm trying to retrieve comments. Let me see if I can, you know, check out you know how many have joined and what where are you guys watching from like i said please let us know where you're watching from i just love uh love to know where you're right now and you know what so so highs are coming in so i have anupama ramesh saying good afternoon on uh, youtube then there is r46 saying hi uh, ML Tom, hi bibin Varghese, hi archana prakash david livingstone uh, says hi great so hello hello David uh, it'll be nice if you can also let me know where you're watching from so that you know I get to know the kind of people we have uh, who are following us in our live session it's great to know which part you're watching from so that we can include uh, queries later to that so yes it's IELTS reading so let me know what your problems are uh, what are your challenges when it comes to reading I'm looking out for your comments it'll be great so do send me your comments and let me know okay let me know um, what are your issues when it comes to reading do you find any uh, problems all right so we have Yad Sandhu saying from Punjab but Tenda oh wow that's nice so we have a Don Geo Francis watching us from Mangalore. So welcome to our live session. We have R46 saying Iduki Katapana. That's great. We have David Livingston saying Hyderabad. So nice. So we have a good mix of people watching us from different parts of the country. Now we have Yad from Punjab. Yeah, that's a beautiful name, uh, by the way. All right, so let me know, those of you are live right now, what are your challenges uh, when it comes to um, IELTS reading? Do you find difficulties? If yes, please let me know what your difficulties are. I think we are up and running on Facebook as well. And we have uh, Susan Ipe saying good afternoon, Anamika Anu saying good afternoon, Padshah Prince saying hi, nice. Great. So do add the place that you're watching from. Ankita Krishna, I'd love to know which part of the world you're watching from. Rato Rahul says, Namaste. Namaste, Rato. I hope you're doing great. Like I said, it's a wonderful afternoon today, at least in this part where I am. Uh, it, it's very, very pleasant weather right now outside. And yes, so let's discuss IELTS reading. 
please do share if you have any difficulties when it comes to okay so r46 says ma'am from where are you streaming so right now r46 uh, we are streaming from our head office at kannur that is one of the northern districts in kerala so that's where we're streaming right now from uh, david livingstone has added on youtube should we read the task first or the questions first which could be the best option ma'am uh, ramisha ramesh says good afternoon so david livingston already has a question in place and that's a very interesting question and i'd love to start with that his question is should we read the task first or the question first okay uh, now david and all other uh, ielts aspirants out there when it comes to ielts reading there are a large number of question types possible now we have completion question types which means it includes summary completion table completion form completion and things like that sentence completion then we have another set of questions which are matching questions so you might have to match headings you might have to match information you might have to match features okay we have yet another question type in ielts reading which is like yes no not given true false not given question type right uh, and we have labeling diagrams and we have classification questions we have short answer questions uh, so there are quite a few question types when it comes to ielts reading now what i would say david is that you should be aware of the instructions for each of these question types that is on the day of the test or whenever you practice you don't have to read the instructions for yes no not given every time because you should be familiar with it now yes no not given question type has a very long description where it says what does yes stand for what does no stand for what does not given stand for so for all of us like you and i the trainers or the aspirants you should be aware of the common instructions or what you need to do for each of these questions so that is something you shouldn't be reading when you practice every day or when you when you are on the day of the test doing your real exam but there are two ways of doing it you can either read the question as in you're trying to find out oh so it's a multiple choice question type so you need to read the question so that you understand what type of question you need to solve and you can do it in two ways you can either uh, skim the passage first skimming means reading it quickly so that you get the main ideas and then you go to the questions one by one or you can go directly to the questions and as the question refers you to a particular part of the passage you could start reading that particular part both these approaches are accepted both these approaches are fine you need to find out which is the most suitable method for you All right so we have ashwati m saying good morning on youtube so good afternoon ashwati okay do we have any more questions coming up no we don't have any more questions so let's get started with the question type that i intend to discuss today it is matching headings question type and many students at least when i interact with them uh, find this particular question type quite challenging now out of the various types i have already listed in ielts reading this is just one type it's called as matching the headings and like the name says you will be given a list of headings and you have to match the right heading to the right paragraph in a passage whenever you are solving your ielts reading you have to go through three different passages so you have passage 1 passage 2 and passage 3 now each of these passages will have a number of paragraphs mostly you will see there are around 8 to 10 paragraphs in a passage now if it is a matching the heading question type it simply means you will be given a list of headings so if you can just check what i have on screen that i like to share is a list of headings so here we have 1 to 10 so we have 10 headings given here so it says list of headings so you have 10 headings which does not mean that there are 10 paragraphs now maybe there are just 8 paragraphs or just 7 or 6 paragraphs 
you are always given a bigger number of heading list than the number of paragraphs. Now what do I mean by that? Meanwhile, as I explain what this is, I would love to see your questions regarding IELTS uh, reading. So if any of you have any queries like we had a question from David, uh, then uh, you know you can put up your question and I'll sort it out. So David has another question on YouTube and David asks, when can we expect a live for OET? Well, David, soon. Just uh, stay tuned. Like I know you're already, um, sub you have already subscribed to our YouTube channel. I would also suggest, David, that you uh, like our Facebook page as well, so that you get these notifications whenever we're going to put up a live. We always have a poster put up where we say the topic of the discussion and the timing. It's always from uh, 1 o'clock to 2 o'clock in the afternoon so that no matter where you are, if you're having a lunch break right now, it's always, uh, you know, uh, an option for you to watch our live session. All right, David. So for OET, we'll be coming back soon. All right. So meanwhile, like I said, so we have uh, Natalia Nino saying good afternoon on Facebook. Krishna S. Hi, Shaima, Joe, Moon, George. Uh, then we have... Uh, who else? Yes. Rahana. Yes. So great. So if you have any questions, please put it up. Like I was saying here on screen, you can see a list of headings. Now you have to match the right heading to the right paragraph. So if you go through the headings, you can see in you know, certain words like heading number one says a unique sensory experience. Heading number two says getting back to basics. Number three, the gift that keeps on giving. Number four says variations in alcohol content. Um, all right. And five says old methods of transportation. Six says culinary application. Seven says making kefir. Eight says a fortunate accident. Nine says kefir gets an image makeover. And ten says ways to improve taste. Great. So you will have a list given like this and you have to match it to the paragraphs. So what I'm going to do in this live session is I'm going to teach you a technique that you can use that will help you and it will also ensure that you save a lot of time. Matching heading is one such question type where students take a long time to sort out the heading. So I'm going to show you one trick that will help you sort out your time and get the right answers. Okay, so I have somebody on Facebook who says good morning from South Iraq. So um, it's in Arabic. The name is given in Arabic and my Arabic is quite limited. I just understand that the name begins with Alif. Okay, so if you can uh, from South Iraq, if you're watching uh, us, can you please type your name out in English so that I can read it out to our audience as well. Like I said, I'm not so very fluent or very flexible or proficient in Arabic. But with the limited uh, you know, idea I have about the Arabic alphabet, I understand your name starts with Aleph. So please let me know what your name is. I'd love to read it out to our audience. Sabi says good afternoon. Aranjo says hi. All right. So I've shown you the list of headings. Now let's look at the first paragraph. All right. So on screen, we have paragraph A, okay? And you can see when you say it's a paragraph, it has quite a lot of sentences and, um, you know, reading uh, this paragraph to match to the list of headings that I've shown you might take a long, long time. So the idea here is, the trick is to always read just the first two sentences probably of first two lines of the paragraph and refer the last one or two sentences or the last one or two lines. That should be enough. That's the whole trick about solving a matching the heading question type. This is just one paragraph that you have on screen. Now every time a student goes through this, they have an, uh, you know, a, 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 let's say they are forced or they feel it is necessary to read the entire paragraph to be able to match it to the right heading. Now that is not a requirement. So the trick that I'm sharing with you today is that you need to just read probably the first one or two sentences or I can say the first 
one or two lines of a paragraph and the last one or two lines. That's all that you have to refer. Now you might be finding it difficult to identify. You might be like, really? Is it just the first two and the last two? Well, let's have a look at this. Now here I have uh, the same paragraph and the list of headings. Now, if you were to refer this paragraph and try and match it to the list of headings, it might take quite a long time because you can see roughly there are probably 45 to 50 words here in one paragraph. So it's not a requirement that you read the entire paragraph. So what should you be doing? Like I said, focus on the first two or three lines and the last two or three lines. That's it. One or two also is fine. So I'm going to show you what you should be doing. So I have blocked out. Okay. You can see the same paragraph. This is paragraph A, but I have blocked out that bit in the middle, which means I'm forcing you to only read the first few uh, lines and the last few lines. So whatever is in between is completely blocked out. Right. So let's read this together. Let's read this together and it says the shepherds of the North Caucasus region of Europe were only trying to transport milk the best way they knew how in leather pouches strapped to the side of donkeys when they made a significant discovery. So we can see the words significant discovery. So it's talking about a region uh, of Europe, North Caucasus. We're trying to transport milk and in leather pouches when they made a significant discovery. And you can see the word a fermentation. That's all. Now look at the last few lines that I've shown. It says this development was a blessing in disguise. Blessing in disguise. The new drink. Okay, so new drink. So initially they spoke about milk being transported. And then they say blessing in disguise towards the end and they use the word new drink which simply means the milk in the original form has been transformed into a new drink. The new drink which acquired the name kefir turned out to be health tonic, a naturally preserved dairy product and a tasty addition to a culinary repertoire. Okay, so I want you guys to just focus on this particular, you know, uh, paragraph that I've shown you. Uh, meanwhile, I have a question uh, by two of our viewers on YouTube. One is Alna Joseph and Alna says, ma'am, what can I do if I have a confusion between two headings for the same paragraph? So Alna, uh, stay tuned to our live session. As we discuss, I'm sure you'll be sorted out with this as well. But thank you so much for the question. We have another question on YouTube by Anu Subish and Anu uh, asks, uh, Good afternoon. I was very much disappointed on my reading module for the first time. I got good band for all the module except reading. Thus, I didn't get my desired band. Anu, uh, relax. Don't worry at all. The IELTS is a standard examination, International English Language Testing System. It's an international examination and not set in such a way that everybody clears the exam in the first go itself. Now, you said you've cleared your all the other modules except reading, which is wonderful, Anu, uh, because not many can actually clear these many modules in the first attempt, which means you're already good with the language. You just need to work on your reading skills as well. Uh, that's all. So don't be, you know, uh, very, uh, you know, disheartened or uh, sad about this just work a little more on your reading skill ensure you work on that skill and improve that and only then apply for the exam a second time all right don't worry Anu I'm sure you'll be able to make it in your next attempt good luck for that okay so now I'm going to show you the same thing the same paragraph where I have blocked out whatever is given in between and the question is I want you to match it to the list of heading and tell me which heading do you think actually suits this paragraph A. We already read keywords like shepherds of North Caucasus region of Europe, transporting milk uh, in leather pouches strapped to donkeys, 
when they made a significant discovery. Fermentation. These are the words we've seen. And towards the end, there are words like the development was a blessing in disguise, new drink, kefir, health tonic, naturally preserved dairy product, tasty addition. So which heading do you think matches this paragraph? Now heading one says a unique sensory experience. Does it match that or is it getting back to basics? Is there any mention about getting back or you know, talking about the basics? No. Heading number three says the gift that keeps on giving. Is there any mention of that? I don't think so. Meanwhile, if any of you can already match it, just send me as a comment. What do you think is the right heading for this paragraph? Okay, so heading number four says variations in alcohol content. We haven't read anything regarding alcohol content. Or um, five says old methods of transportation. Now, of course, in the first half, it talks about the method of transporting milk strapped to leather pouches on the side of the donkeys. But the last sentences do not say anything more about transportation. Which means the central idea of this paragraph is not about transportation. So we can easily eliminate option, I mean, heading 5. Heading 6 says culinary applications. Heading 7 says making kefir. So is there any mention of how kefir is made? Um, no, it says it's a, it's a fermentation blessing in disguise, new drink. So there is no mention about making it. What about a fortunate accident? Heading number 8 says a fortunate accident. Heading number 9 says kefir gets an image makeover and 10 says ways to improve the taste. Now, alright, so on YouTube we have Srinjai Mitra saying it is 6 and then again he probably correct saying 7. Uh, Ramesha Ramesh on YouTube says a fortunate accident which means she says it's number 8. Albin PJ says number 7. 7 is making kafir. Okay, so my question is, is there any mention about how you make it? Now this is an accidentally a significant discovery, right? It is a development, a blessing in disguise. Bl what do you mean by blessing in disguise? It means you didn't intend to do it, but it just happened and it turned out to be good. So it is not making it on purpose, okay? It just happened. So number seven is not a possibility, but it's okay. Keep trying. Ramisha says a fortunate accident. Anyone else has any other responses or answers to this? Which do you think is the right heading? Is it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 or 10? Ashija Anthony uh, on Facebook says, I think she's written as 1 and X. Probably she intends 9. Okay. Kefir gets an image makeover. Is there a mention about an image makeover? Suraj Thomas on YouTube says 8. Somebody by the name your dad, okay, says eight. I hope I'm not being offensive when I say your dad, but that's how you named your profile. So says eight. Good. So Ramisha's answer is also eight. All right. So we have some of them saying eight. Let's see on Facebook. Do we have any others who would like to go ahead and try out their luck at this? No, I think we have very bold um, aspirants on YouTube. Sebastian Joseph says 6. Kailash Chandra says 8. Nice. It's getting interesting. And quite a few have said 8. Some have said 7. And the others say 6. So let me tell you what the answer is. So we have Kailar saying number 10. Okay, so the right answer for uh, Jaren P. Jacob saying number 8. Good, great, interesting. Okay, the right answer for paragraph A is number 8, which is a fortunate 
accident why why did we select number 8 so congratulations to all who have answered number 8 that is correct why is it a fortunate accident because you can see words like they made a significant discovery right then you can see development was a blessing in disguise like i told you it means it was accidental discovery okay blessing in disguise simply means it was unintentional it was not done on purpose and you can also see new drink turned out to be so all of these words tell you that it was accidental but is it a bad accident or a good accident it's good that's why it's called as a fortunate accident so congratulations to all who have answered it as number 8 we also have joy c jo saying number 8 good so did you all understand what is the strategy you have to do i'm going to force you to read only the first two lines and the last two lines of a paragraph and i'm going to try and convey to you that this is enough to be able to match the headings now i know subish i hope this will help you so, uh, i mean try and solve all of our questions here uh, anu try and answer whenever uh, you know we put up a question and it will be great okay so i'm going to show you the next paragraph paragraph b yes shamlal on facebook says a fortunate accident that's right Okay, so this is the next paragraph. Question number two. Now again, I'm going to force you to read just the first two lines and the last two lines. Now let's look at the words here. What does it say? Although their exact origin remains a mystery, so exact origin mystery, we do know that yeast-based kefir grains always been at the root of the kefir form a phenomenon. which means it is the yeast based kefir grains so kefir is made from yeast based kefir grains and you can also see the last sentence is saying uh feed on lactose when added to milk consequently a bigger problem for most kefir drinkers so they talking about a problem here what is a problem is not where to source new kefir grains so do they have a problem with getting kefir grains here because it says uh, is not where to source new kefir grains so from that what do you understand do you think they have a problem finding out kefir grains no but the problem is what to do with the ones that they already have which simply means so the key words here are do with the ones they already have which means kefir grains are there in abundance you have lots and lots of kefir grains there is no shortage of kefir grains it is repeating or it is continuous it's growing it is uh, it there is no stoppage to it that's the idea now i'm going to show you the list of headings again and this time i want you to try and match for this paragraph so remember we have chosen certain keywords um yeast based kefir grains a uh, bigger problem is uh, what to do with the grains that they already have now the question is open and i'm going to check out is it my viewers on youtube who are going to respond to this question or do we have responses from on facebook Good afternoon, Danya. Good afternoon, Krishna Priya. Tasni Shabin says, "Ha, Sneha. Good afternoon, Subhajit. Good afternoon. All right. So, can you try and match this here? You can already see I have struck out a fortunate accident because we've already solved it. We have connected it to paragraph A. So, we don't have to consider that heading anymore." because we are super confident about the answer now like alna had asked if you are only confused and you're not sure you need to consider that heading for the other paragraphs but now a fortunate accident we are very sure about the answer okay so can you tell me which is the right heading here 
Okay, Aditya Mishra says nine. Arun Kumar says hi. Hi Arun. Okay, so if it is nine, it says Kafir gets an image makeover. Is there any mention about image makeover? It just says uh, the problem is they don't know what to do with the kefir grains they already have. So what idea is conveyed? It means in abundance there is lots of kefir grains. Arun Kumar says I want to practice listening and numeracy. Suraj Thomas on YouTube gives the answer saying three. Okay. So Suraj says the answer is the gift that keeps on giving. Three. Maybe. Let's see what others have to say. Answer so Shibish she is good afternoon. Good afternoon answer. So if you can answer this question, can you try and match the heading to paragraph B? Okay, I think today we have real active people on YouTube because we have somebody by uh, Poseidon saying six. Okay, six means it is culinary applications. So did they mention about where kefir is applied, where it is used? Uh, Poseidon, I don't think there's any mention of using it. Okay, Ramesha Ramesh says five, which means old methods of transportation. So is there anything mentioned about trans, uh, transportation, Ramisha? I don't think so. Now somebody by the name Venom says 6. 6 says again a culinary application, maybe not. Mm, Sanjay Mitra says 9 and Kefir gets an image makeover. See the thing is about uh, keeps on giving. I mean it is continuous. Okay. There is a lot of it, abundance. Sabina Shibu says three. Lakshmi, Lakshmi Saji says three. All of them on YouTube, which is excellent. So they have a real active YouTube uh, base. Aditya says two. Jaren P. Jacob says three. Okay, so majority of you have sent, uh, said three. That means it is gift that keeps on giving. Kailash Chandra says three or ten. Now about improving taste, 10 is improving taste. So did they mention what to add to make the taste better? There's no word like that. So 10 can be eliminated Kailash. Sebastian says one, a unique sensory experience. Now sensory means we have the five senses, like we have touch, we have smell, we have taste. Uh, so, uh, I mean, is there any mention of any of these sense organs? No, right? So Sebastian cannot be sensory experience. Joy, Joycey Joes on YouTube says 3. Great. Arun Kumar says, Hi, I am taking WPLN test from Singapore. Very difficult for me to get above 6th grade. So please advise. Um, Arun, at this point, I don't think I am knowledgeable enough to be commenting on WPLN test because I am not sure if I have heard it before. But probably I can check it out and respond to your comment later after the live session maybe. Yeah, so Anu Subish on YouTube says 3. Archana Prakash says 3. Tino CJ says 3. Great. So what's the answer? The right answer here is... Number three, the gift that keeps on giving. Yes, Albin says three. Good. Shaina James says three. Why? Because here we have a mention saying the problem is that the grains, they don't know what to do with the ones they already have, which means we have it in abundance. There is lots of grains available. The gift that keeps on giving. So the answer is heading number Three. Congratulations to everyone who's answered it right. Shahana Fatima, good afternoon. I hope you're enjoying the session. Great. So did you get an idea of what you should be doing? Focus on the first few lines and the last few lines. That's it. Okay. Let's try the next one. I have paragraph C here. 
So let's just look at the keywords. Maybe I'll show you the other version of it where I have the list of headings as well. So let's look at paragraph C and it says, the great thing about kefir is that it does not require a manufacturing line in order to be produced. So what is it talking about? About making, okay? Manufacturing means making, producing, developing. So that is not required. Grains can be simply thrown in with a batch. Multiply, devote most of the milk sugars. Final product is then ready for human consumption. Great. Okay, so while you try and crack this, let me show you a wonderful, uh, I, I, again I can say, a very, very magical, um, um, you know, let's say resource for you. It's Met City IELTS Met City app. IELTS app. It's a complete it's, learning it's solution. It's available on IELTS Android listening, and the reading, iOS platforms. Reading, writing and speaking you module can just lessons download the with app. drama classes and free practice materials. IELTS get over 50 hours of video uh, lessons. To it. Download Met City uh, IELTS app it. now. Available um, register on yourself. Android and you iOS free access platforms. to it with free videos, free practice materials. Met City and IELTS really app, a complete you learning you solution. Really IELTS good. listening, you just have to make reading, very, very writing and speaking payment. module lessons with drama classes and free and practice can, uh, materials. Get over 50 hours of video year. lessons. You Download Met City IELTS app now. Lessons. Available on have, Android and uh, iOS platforms. All the modules, listening, reading, writing, speaking, you have strategy classes and lots and lots more. You have, uh, you know, sample speaking tests with feedback and lots of practice material. So it's a wonderful app. So do download the app. So I know if you haven't tried this app, check out our Met City IELTS app. I'm sure it's going to be helpful. Okay. All right, great. So back to our question. Um, so you need to try and match the heading. And I think on YouTube we've started getting responses. We have Aditya Mishra saying 10. So 10 is ways to improve taste. Now Aditya focus on these keywords. Required, did, uh, it does not require a manufacturing line. So this is about producing it or making it, right? Manufacturing means pro producing or making it. So the word make is here. And then it says multiply, devote most of the milk sugars. Final product is then ready for human consumption. Which means this paragraph is talking about how to produce kefir, how to create it, how to make it. So which of the headings do you think actually matches this? Great, so we have Kanwar Kaur saying 7, which is making kefir. We have Aditya Mishra saying 7 or 10, so 10 can be eliminated. So Aditya 7, maybe, yeah. Shrinjay Mitra saying 7. We have Minu John saying 7. Uh, Sabina Shibu saying 7. Sebastian Joseph, all of them on YouTube saying 7. Uh, Lakshmi Saji saying 7. Tom Lawrence says 7. Venom says 7. Great, interesting. I really like it when, you know, uh, you're getting hold of uh, what you actually need to do. Archana Prakash says 7. Jaren P. Jacob says 7. Great. So majority. It looks like there is no confusion. Look at the keywords here. It's about manufacturing. Grades can be simply thrown. So this is step number 1. And you can see towards the end of the paragraph it says... Uh, final product. So this is the last step. Product is ready for human consumption. So the entire paragraph is talking about the different steps to make kefir. I have blocked out the middle half. See, in spite of blocking out the paragraph, whatever you can see in the middle, you can still guess the right answer. Which means, whenever you are matching the headings, you don't have to read the entire paragraph. All you need to do is, Look at the first two lines and the last two lines. And if the idea is the same, you can skip everything in the middle and just try and match. Okay? So, uh, Alpin PJ saying 7, Kailash Chandra saying 7, Anu Subish saying 7. Aditya saying not, Aditya Mishra is saying not able to score more than um, 6. 
6.5 is a minimum requirement. Aditi, it comes with practice. And like I just showed you, if it's possible, do download our MedCity IELTS app. It's Wonder app and it has strategy lessons. I'd also like to show you another material because Aditi asked me about how to improve uh, the reading skill. Uh, we have this reference book called as IELTS Maestro. Um, so all of you just check it out on screen that you can see right now. It's a reference book with um, you know strategy lessons, uh, practice materials, sample answers, uh, you have detailed sections on writing, you have all the listening and reading question types mentioned, reading question types with strategies, how to solve each question type is mentioned there. In writing you have lots of sample essays, uh, method, structure to be used, report writing, letter writing, speaking samples are all there in this book. It's IELTS Maestro. You can purchase this book on our website. So all you need to do is if you can log in to www.medcityinternationalacademy.com, you can purchase this book. Um, it's freely delivered across India. This book is also available on Flipkart and Amazon. So you can just check out Flipkart, Amazon, type out IELTS Maestro, okay? Uh, M-A-E-S-T-R-O, I-E-L-T-S. So IELTS Maestro is the book's name. It's a wonder book. So Aditya Mishra, Anu Subish, and anyone else struggling uh, to get your required score, try buying, purchasing this book and using it. Um, I can say it's really, really helpful. And once you use it, it'll be great if you can let us know your feedback on the usage of the book. Okay. All right. So getting back to our uh, discussion, you're all right. The answer is making kefir. So congratulations to all of you for saying the answer is seven. So I hope at this point you're getting an idea of, uh, you know, how to answer and, you know, what is the method that you can use. All right, let's try another one. Okay, so we have paragraph D here. Okay, paragraph D with the list of headings. So I want you to try and tell me what is the right heading here. You can see I am striking out the list of headings as we solve one by one it is struck off. Ramesha Ramesh 7 is right. This is the next question. Paragraph D. It says nothing compares to a person's first encounter with kefir. Okay, you can see the smooth uniform consistency rolls over the tongue now tongue means taste taste is one of our senses you can see consistency rolls over the tongue although you can expect around 0 0.8 to 1 percent uh, for a typical day old preparation this can bring out a tiny edge of alcohol in the kefir's flavor so here they're talking about taste because they're talking about tongue and you can see towards the end also they are talking about flavor which is again taste. So the ent entire uh, I will say paragraph is about the taste of it. Oh right so we have answers already coming up on YouTube excellent. So I think it was um, who had answered it first yeah it was um, Ramisha Ramesh sorry uh, Aditya Mishra who's answered first saying um, heading one then we have Kanwar Kaur saying one Sebastian Joseph on YouTube saying one uh, Sabina Shibu saying one Tom Lawrence saying one HBNK saying one Minu John saying nine nine is ways to improve maybe not Minu Kailash Chandra says nine Shaina J sorry one uh, Shaina James says one great so we have many of you saying the heading is number one which means a unique sensory experience that's what all of you have chosen as the right heading. Great. Why did you choose that? Because it says a unique sensory experience. Sensory means one of our senses, the taste buds is a sense like a touch, like a you know, seeing, hearing, smelling. Um, great. So Kanwar Kaur has explained saying, talking about consistency, flavor, these are the keywords he's identified. Everything pointing towards sensory experience. Excellent. Anusubi says one. Archana Prakash says one. Isn't this wonderful to see that all of you are able to uh, solve 
uh, you know this uh, you're able to solve so uh, Kanwar course is enjoying the session thank you Kanwar um, I'm sure that you know you'll find the Med City IELTS app as useful as the session that I'm doing right now the IELTS Maestro is a wonderful reference book so you can you know, try using both of these all right, so great. Congratulations to all of you who've contributed to the answer. That's a perfect answer. The answer is heading number one. Like Kanwar said, all of these key terms that you can see all pointing towards a unique sensory experience. So are you guys now convinced that you can actually match the list of headings to a paragraph without reading the entire paragraph? You just have to read the first two lines and the last two lines. Now the idea conveyed in the first two lines and the last two lines, if they are the same, that means whatever is given in between the paragraph is also the same, which simply means you don't have to read the whole paragraph and waste your time. Only if the idea in the middle, I mean if, if the first idea, first set line and the last few lines, the ideas are different, that's when you have to read the entire paragraph. Otherwise, you can easily solve just by looking at the first two lines and the last two lines of a paragraph. Because Kanwar said he's really enjoying the session, let me take it a step further and give you another question to try and solve. Okay, I'm going to show you with the list of headings. This is uh, paragraph E. I want you guys to read it and try and tell me what the answer is. Which heading do you think actually matches paragraph E? Okay, the key words that we can see are, although it has prevailed largely as a fermented milk drink over the years, kefir has acquired a number of other uses, other uses. many bakers so where is kefir used so it says bakers then last you can say granola cereal as a way to keep keep their digestive systems fine-tuned athletes sometimes combine kefir with yogurt in protein shakes okay now tell me which is the right answer Okay, again, mixed response is coming in. It says about number of uses. So, what is the use of kefir? Okay, bakers are using it, then you can see athletes using it. So, the, in the middle also, there would be some other applications mentioned. Oops. Okay. All right. So, what are the answers? So, I think we have mixed response coming up this time. Um, Adon Geo says 9. Um, Aditya and Kailash Chandra says 10, Shabina Shibu says 9, Shrinjai Mitra says 6. Good Shrinjai. Number 6 is culinary applications. Minu John says 9, 9 is kefir gets an image makeover. No. Ramisha Ramesh says 1, uh, Ramisha we have already solved 1, Shrinjai says 6, Tom Lawrence says 9, Sebastian Joseph says 6, good. Kanwar Kaur says 6, great. Alpin PJ says 6, Sunjay says 6, Poiseidon says 6, Archana Prakash says 9, Anu Subir says 6. 6 is culinary applications. So can, can you tell me why are you saying it's 6? Shaina James says 9. Shaina, why is it 9? Can you tell me why you felt it is 9? And the others, why did you feel it is number 6? Kanwar or Sanjay? or Archana, uh, sorry, or Anu Subish, Albin, we've all said six. Kefir has acquired a number of other uses. So where, in, in the list of heading, where do you have words like using uh, kefir? So it is getting back to basics, no. Variations in alcohol content, no. Old methods of transportation, no. Good. Sin, uh, so Sranjay Mitra says a synonym for application. Good. Use means uh, image makeover, no. Improving taste, no. 
so the right answer is 6 culinary applications where all can you use kefir can you see here a number of other uses one is bakers using it then maybe there is something mentioned in the middle where I've blocked it out towards the end you can see another usage by athletes so it's about application using kefir <coughs> so all of you who've said six excellent that's the right answer the heading is number six culinary applications so for all of you who've joined in the session let me tell you yeah other converses other uses means application great use basically means application so if you're wondering how to get such tips, how to be able to solve questions using such unique methods, just purchase our app. So I already showed you the app. Let's have a look at it once more. MedCity IELTS app. It's a unique Med City IELTS app. It's going to be a, a complete unique learning, learning solution. You can learn completely on your own. Reading, uh, writing, and speaking when module you're lessons free on with the grammar go, classes while you're working, and free practice uh, materials. While you're cooking, while get exercising, over 50 hours you can of video lessons. Yeah. We have over Download Medsity IELTS app now, on available reading, on Android speaking, and iOS you have IELTS platforms. Academic, you have IELTS general training, you have UKBI IELTS. IELTS app, and you have lots of practice materials. Speaking IELTS sample listening, videos, IELTS reading, sample reading lessons, writing and speaking module lessons with grammar use, classes uh, maybe and free practice types. materials. You know, you Get over 50 hours of video lessons. Types. Download Medsity IELTS app now. We also have available IELTS on Android and iOS platforms. This is a wonder app and it's going to help you learn um, on the go at your own convenience and we have our second resource material which is IELTS Maestro and again this is a very very um, I would say a companion for anyone who's planning to uh, learn or prepare for IELTS completely on your own many of our students use this book and they've said it's really helpful because it has chapters on all the four modules you have again strategy lessons for reading for listening for writing you have regarding structures layout format to be used samples again for speaking of sample answers and lots and lots and lots more so it's a fun book to learn IELTS if you're planning so I, I know some of you are actually preparing for the test your aspirants are out there so definitely this book will be helpful uh, the app and the book both are hugely supportive for students planning on uh, Okay, so Sebastian Joseph says, any books for OET writing and speaking? Of course, Sebastian, we do have books on OET as well. We have actually uh, our OET app as well. So just like you're typing MedCity IELTS app, you can just type out uh, MedCity OET app and you'll get our OET application as well. Try it out, Sebastian, and let me know how you found it. Well, that takes me uh, very close uh, to the end of the session. And at this point, I would love to, um, you know, answer any of the questions that you have. Now, some of you have been really, really supportive, being active throughout the live session and giving, uh, you know, good responses and answers. So if any of you have questions that I can clarify during our live session, uh, I'll just take this the last few minutes to answer any of the last minute questions that you have. Just pop in your questions and I'm eager to answer them. Sebastian, if you're looking for books for OET, we do have books. Just get on to our website, medcityinternationalacademy.com. You will see a tab called as Shops. Go to Shops there, and then you can find all the books that we have on sale. The IELTS materials, the OET materials, and soon we'll have all our P PTE and nursing uh, books as well. So, uh, Sebastian Joseph, do, do check out our website, or just get in touch with us, and we'll be able to help you out with uh, booklets for OET as well. Okay, so I think there aren't any last minute questions. Probably like I said, you know, you people might watch our live session at a later point, maybe in the evening, and then you put up questions. We still try to answer if there are questions coming up. Uh, Srinjay Mitra asks, any tips for cue cards? So Srinjay, that's speaking, I'll speaking. Well, of course, there are tips for cue cards. The best tip that I'd always love to give you is tell it like a story. So it should be a story that you create. Uh, each of the four points that you have on the cue card, try and expand it. Uh, a half a minute for um, each of the points should be good. And create a story. Make it descriptive. That's the trick uh, to be able to answer a cue card. 
All right, so I hope you've all enjoyed the live session today. Wonderful participation. Excellent responses coming up. Stay tuned. And some of you are asking about OET live sessions. Just check out our page so you'll know what life comes when. We have the IELTS and OET live sessions coming up regularly. So if you check out our Facebook and YouTube pages, you'll get to know when you can watch us live. So thank you everyone who were present for our session today. It was wonderful and hope you have a good day ahead and um, all of you IELTS aspirants that you get real good scores and you have, you know, you're able to live uh, your dreams. Thank you so much for watching us live today.